Today's video is going to be on a series of different problems that all involve the same type of math and sort of the same type of mathematical thinking. So we're going to look at these type of problems. Something like this right here. The question is going to be, what portion of this shape is shaded? And we might look at something like this one right here. Maybe I'll give you a circle, give you a square in the center of it, and inscribe square. And I'll ask you for what portion of this shape is shaded. In this case, we have a, a square ins inscribed in a circle. And then, finally, we'll close it off with the opposite. I'll give you a square with an inscribed circle. And I'll ask you to find out what portion of this shape is shaded. Now, these all involve the same math. They look very different. Um, especially uh, these two look very different than this one right here, but they all involve the same math. And before we actually look at the problems, I just want to go over the, the basic, basic idea of what we're going to be doing. First, start with our standard. We have a rectangle. And a por we're trying to find out this portion here, and we want to know what portion of this rectangle is shaded, so I can, I can shade it really quickly right now. We want to find out what portion of this rectangle is shaded. Well, if we knew the dimensions, let's say this was 2 and this was 4, we could, uh, and, you know, we, we find out that this is approximately right here, 2, we could find out very quickly what portion is shaded. We could do this a whole bunch of different ways. One, you, you might be like, well, Chris, why don't we just do, we know this is 2, this would also be 2, this is 2, so this would be 2. I could just do the area of this shape and get 4. Okay, so we found out what the area of this is. And the question is, what portion of this sh shape is shaded? Well, then you could say, you know, the whole thing would be 2 times 4, because it's length times width. So the whole thing has an area of 2 times 4 is 8. And the part that I'm looking at, the portion that's shaded, is 4. So what portion of this shape is shaded, one half or 50 percent. Yes, this is true, you could do that. I want to present another way of doing it, just, just, to get the con just to get the core ideas down. Another way of thinking about this is if we wanted to find out what this was, what we could do is we could take our full shape, subtract this portion that we, um, this portion here, and we would get the remainder, or the portion that is sort of uh, shaded. Now this is the long way, but conceptually I want you to get this I idea down. So what does that mean? Well, the whole, we could think of by just doing length times width. So that would be 2 times 4, and that would mean my whole figure has an area of 8. This portion here, you know, if this is 2, then this would be 2 we could figure out this has 4, so it would be 8 minus 4 would help us figure out that this, this shape here, you know, gets us 4. And, and then once we have that, we could, you know, then we could compare our part total relationship with these two shapes, 4 or 8 or 1 half. Okay, you're saying to me, Chris, you're killing me, you're killing me, I understand this. All right, let's look at a, a slightly harder problem. Well, uh, this one, believe it or not, is the exact same problem. What we have here is a, a square inscribed in a circle. So this is a pretty standard problem. I don't want you to feel intimidated by it at all. It's, it's not that bad of a problem. We're going to use the same math concepts that we did in the last problem. So let's... Uh, so first, let me identify the first shape. We're dealing with a circle. And we'll do that one. And our next core shape is that rectangle, or that square. And this question involves what portion of this shape is shaded. So we're trying to figure out if, if we, we're trying to figure out that portion outside of the square, you know, that makes up you know, that's the difference between the circle and the square. So I just said the difference between the circle and the square. 
Well, that means we, one way we could think about this problem is we could find out the area of the circle and we could subtract the area of that square. Sorry, I know, it's not the perfect square. And we would get an answer which would be equal to the difference or the shaded region. And that's what we're trying to figure out. And this comes back to the core fractions that we were talking about earlier. We're going to need to use the area formula for the area of a circle, which is what? Pi r squared. And we're going to need to use uh, one of the formulas for the area of uh, this square here. Now, let's start with the square. I would love to use length times width. Length, width, and that would be great. But unfortunately, this problem here isn't laid out so nicely. Because we know the radius is 4. I can't, this is not equal to 4. This is in fact actually the hypotenuse. So you could say this is 4 and you could say this is 4 because they're both radiuses of the circle. But that doesn't mean the width is 4. There's a bunch of ways we could do this. We could use the Pythagorean theorem or we could just find out what the area of a triangle is with a base of 4 and a height of 4. Wouldn't that be 1 half base times the height? Or in this case it would be 1 half 4 times 4. So if we did it out, we could find out that that triangle has an area of 8. And if that has an area of 8, and each one of these shapes has an area of 8, you know, that's going to make our lives really much easier. Because that means this has an area of 8, this has an area of 8, this has 8, and this has 8. So if I add up now all my parts, 8, 8, 8, and 8, I find out that that square has an area of 32. Now, what's the area of my, tr my circle? Okay, it's not a big deal. I can, I can do that. I'm, I feel pretty confident. That's pi r squared. Well, the radius is 4, so 4 times 2 is 16. So what's 3.14? times 16. Well, do you know what? It comes out to be, I want to do it the fast way, I'll just do it the long way. 6 times 4 is um, 24, so I drop the 4, carry the 2. 6 times 1 is 6, times two, plus 2 is 8. 6 times 3 is 18, and then I drop the 0. 1 times 4 is 4. And then I do 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3. Now when I add these up, 4, 2, this actually gets carried over, so that's a 0 and that's a 5. All right. So, uh, and then I drop the 0, I mean, and drop the decimal two spaces because I got the two spaces in the 3.14. comes up to 50.24. So let's just uh, make our lives easier, right? Let's just say this has, an, this has an area of 50, this has an area of 32, so this area here would be the difference, or 18. Now what part of the entire shape is, is shaded? Well, again, that's just going to be a, that's just going to be a fraction problem. The entire shape the entire shape again is 50. The portion that we're trying to figure out is 18 because we, we did that subtraction before. We make this equivalent to a fraction with 100 in the denominator. 50 times 2 gets me 100, so um, 18 times 2 gets me 36. So I could say roughly uh, approximately 36% of the shape is, unsh is uh, shaded. Let me see how much time we have. Not too much time left. Let's do one more problem.